Are you thinking of becoming a certified ethical hacker? Certified Ethical Hacker version 13 is one of the most globally recognized certification for cybersecurity professionals. But before you jump in, do you know how the exam works and how to schedule the exam? What are the available options in the exam? What kind of questions that you can expect? What is the duration of the uh, exam? So in this video, I'm taking you through and teaching you everything that you need to know to pass Certified Ethical Hacker program. Stay with me because the reason is Certified Ethical Hacker version 30 no passing Certified Ethical Hacker or becoming a Certified Ethical Hacker is one of the dreams of many cybersecurity professionals. Stay with me, I'll take you through. The Certified Ethical Hacker version 13 with AI developed by Easy Council is designed to validate your understanding of ethical hacking tools, techniques, methodologies, and also it's recognized by organizations worldwide and mapped directly to job roles like penetration testers, security analysts, and SOC specialists. And here, whenever you uh, register for Certified Ethical Hacker program, you can select the type of the exam, type of the version. So there are multiple versions available, normal CH, uh, AI and the most popular one is Certified Ethical Hacker AI Elite. So basically the content basically similar on the both offerings but Elite Pack comes with a six month lab access so you can see the rest of the stuff are pretty similar. Ecosphere you get the same Ecosphere exam voucher end of the course because unlike other vendor certifications, Easy Council, uh, Ecosware comes with the exam voucher, so you can take the exam. And also you can also have access to 10 ethical hacking video libraries. But if you get Elite Pack, you will get six months of official lab access. I'll show you how the labs look like. And then CEH AI Engage. And also uh, annual CEH AI Challenge Pass for 12 uh, capture the flag context and also CH practical exam. There are two exam types as I said before. Uh, normal exam is usually uh, comes with uh, CEH normal version which is multiple choice questions which is our default exam system but if you uh, take elite pack you will get practical exam which is known as certified ethical hacker master then you will act as a real attacker and also you're working with real infrastructure and you will have to uh, you know submit a report to easy council in order to pass for certified ethical hacker practical exam and also this comes with one exam retake meaning even if you fail the exam you can take again and try it uh, another once more and then let's talk about the exam there are two exams as i said if you take certified ethical hacker normal or certified ethical elite pack this exam is the default exam one is known as knowledge exam so then this will test your skills on information security threats and attack vectors attack detention attack prevention procedures and methodologies and it's multiple choice question and it would take four hours to complete the exam and you can expect 125 questions and delivered via easy council exam portal passing score can be 60 percent to 85 percent depending on your scoring and the uh, you know difficulty of the exam questions as well and then this is going to be again four hours exam and then you can take either go visiting uh, easy council accredited training center uh, to take exam or you can schedule it and take it home take it from the home mm -hmm. um, for that then the term is known as remote proctoring service so there are two ways one is you can go to exam center and take the exam with uh, accredited training center of easy council you can find ATCs worldwide, especially when you are registering to the uh, uh, course. Or you can take exam through Easy Council exam portal by Easy Council uh, remote proctoring service. The other type is known as practical exam to become certified ethical hacker master. So practical exam is optional, but will reward you with higher level of certification because many organizations would expect you to have practical knowledge Certified Ethical Hacker program comes with practical demonstrations and over 220 labs, but 
during the exam i mean if you select practical exam exam you will be using port scanning tools like nmap hp in vulnerability detection and also attack on systems like ddos session hijacking web server and application attacks sql injection methodologies web application security tools sql injection detection tools injection tools communication protocols and duration would be six hours and you would expect 20 challenging questions and it will be delivered through ilab cyber range which will be simulating a real enterprise network and the passing score would be 60 percent to 85 percent right this is again optional exam and elite pack eceh elite version comes with practical exam as well if you want to, you can do it but the normal version comes with only knowledge exam only but if you want to schedule your practical exam you need to pay additionally in order to get your practical exam next important question is how to schedule the exam and also remember your exam will be different from other candidates questions banks are randomized by difficulty and topic balance and then how to schedule the exam as i said before there are two options one is you can call up and schedule your exam with accredited training center of easy council you can find many accredited tra training centers around the globe uh, mainly whenever you uh, sign up for the course register for the course basically you are signing up with accredited training center so then you can ask them do you have examination center most of the accredited training centers yes but if not they would offer you remote proctoring service where you can schedule the exam and take exam at the luxury of your home and then remote proctor will be monitoring throughout the exam for hours and it is known as remote proctoring service or rps then the next question is what type of ex uh, questions that i should expect so there are two types of exam as i said before one is knowledge exam the other one is practical exam if you focus on knowledge exam you can expect about 125 questions up to 125 questions within four hours all questions are multiple choice questions you will get four options or four choices to answer in my next video i will take you through sample questions and i'm planning to uh, you know design another video with range of uh, questions or question bank taking you through how to select uh, the uh, correct answer and also what are the exam strategies right and also uh, you would get uh, some questions like uh, using methodologies using tools and also mainly understanding security questions because security concepts and the second type of exam is a practical exam it is not a uh, compulsory it's optional exam so either you sign up with ceh normal version or ceh elite version you would uh, be able to take a practical exam as well but elite pack comes with exam voucher for the practical exam but the normal one doesn't come with the exam voucher for the practical exam but in my experience i know many of my students when they score over 100 percent about 95 96 97 percent for the knowledge exam easy council has offered them a practical exam at a discounted rate or some cases they offer practical exam for completely free so in my experience i know that but in general if you take a certified ethical hacker normal version which is comparatively price is lower than elite pack you wouldn't get a practical exam voucher but elite packs pack comes with exam voucher another most commonly asked question is uh, how to how do you can pass and what type of questions that you can expect for the certified ethical hacker master program which is a practical exam there what you would expect is through aspen account exam portal you would be able to access attack range or cyber range developed by easy council so then you can expect about 20 challenges all challenges are pretty similar to a real hacking attempt something like a penetration testing so then every challenge you will start first challenge and then you will be given some hints and also then you will have to start your procedure or process starting off with information gathering and reconnaissance scanning and enumeration and uh, gaining access through different vulnerabilities that you may recover during the scanning and enumeration and then you will have to access and then obtain information from the compromised machine and then you will have to produce this as a report to easy council for them to validate evaluate 
So then up to 65% to 85% would be the passing score for the practical exam. And based on that, you will be re receive your uh, pass score or receive your outcome after few days of your exam. So in this video, my objective is to take you through the exam process and then the next video I'm taking you through, I'll be taking you through some of the sample questions and a best uh, strategy to pass EC Council exam. So when it comes to scheduling exam, uh, you will have to schedule your exam through eccouncilexam.org ecexam.org so I'll, I'll show you how to access the site yeah, eccexam.com and this is the EC Council exam center so then you have to register in there and then you can log in there and then you can schedule the exam at the uh, EC Council exam portal so once you do that uh, you will ha you can take exam on the day and also you can schedule the exam at your convenience any uh, you know the given time there are a number of options available and with the dates you can select whichever date uh, convenient to you to take the exam all right guys i hope this video is informative especially for the security professionals or cyber security professionals or into enthusiasts to understand how certified ethical hacker program exam would look like and then uh, once you i mean i would suggest after completion of your uh, uh, course take about few weeks or two few months i would say about three months is the best time because once you completed your course you will have one year to complete the exam so that is the easy council timing meaning once you completed your uh, course they would be given exam voucher valid for one year so you can schedule any time during the one year but i would suggest the best time is within three months because if you f push more i mean push you know or postpone more and more you will lose the kind of you know uh, uh, interest and also you will forget most of the topics that are covered within the easy council program right so then in my next video i will take you through some questions and the best exam strategy is to uh, you know pass your certified ethical hacking program best of luck uh, see you in the next video